There are several steps that you can take when creating a quiz in Moodle to make it more secure, particularly when you are have it, having students take quizzes remotely and you're not there to watch them take it in class. So I'm going to go through the steps to create a quiz and then we'll walk through some of the security features. So we're going to add a quiz. One of the first things you can do is have it open and close at a certain time. And a recommendation here is to give them a period of time that they can take it. And you also want to consider that if you have students who have accommodations like time and a half that you need to encompass that as well. So uh, you don't want to set it for two hours. If you have somebody who's going to need more time than that, you want to leave it open for a longer period of time and then also utilize the time limit. So once someone starts taking the quiz, they only have 60 minutes or 10 minutes or however long you want them to have for the quiz. So then when you go down to layout, there are several options here. By default, it puts each new question on an, a new page, which is fine. The default navigation method is free, which means that students can go back and forth between questions. If you wanted to force them to answer the questions in the order that you create them, you can select sequential. By default, the question behavior is to shuffle within questions, and I would not change that. Um, under review options, this is just something I go over for everyone. Um, when you have a closed quiz time, like we do, you're going to set all of your review options, which means how the students can see the quiz, their feedback, their scores. You're going to put that after the quiz is closed. So if you want them to be able to review the answers that they put after the quiz closes, you're going to check the attempt. If you want them to know whether it was correct or to see the right answer, you would select that. If you want them to see the points, and it says marks because I'm in the wrong language, uh, you want them to see their points, you'd select this. And if you have left feedback for the quiz, you want to select specific feedback. That, I don't think you need to change anything. There's an option under extra restrictions on attempts. Um, I'm going to talk about this, but I don't recommend this um, unless you fully explain this to your students. So there's a browser security option full screen pop-up with JavaScript security. You can use this, which basically forces the student to take it in a type of lockdown browser off campus, but it requires JavaScript. And so it would also require the students to have pop-up blocker disabled and JavaScript enabled. So you would have to walk them through that in order for it to work or they would not be able to take the quiz. I think that that is all for this part. And then you hit save and display. And then to add your questions, you hit edit quiz. And then when you're adding questions, if you really wanted to provide students uh, an easier way to not cheat, um, nothing is foolproof. You can pull random questions from a question bank, which means that you would have already created these questions in your question bank. And so you pull random questions, which means that each student is going to theoretically get a different question than their neighbor. Um, 
So I'm going to pull from one that I've already got a bunch of questions in. And so I'm going to say, I'm going to pull five questions and I'm going to add random questions. So then you can see that it has pulled five random questions and then you can actually see which questions it's pulled but each student will get a different random question depending on how many you have in your question bank so you would want to sort that out ahead of time if you only have five essay questions and you have 30 students then they are going to be repeats but each student if they were sitting next to each other or roommates or something like that they're most likely not going to get the same question or at least not in the same order. Um, and then by default, they're going to be shuffled in the order. Um, and then I think that's pretty straightforward for that.